Hello guys, today we're going to speak about the art of first impressions. So open please your student books on page 359 and let's speak on this subject. Hi everyone! What was the impression you have when you have seen this person the second ago? Yeah, it may be the teacher wearing the pineapple glasses and something really embarrassing was happening in her head. Well, getting back to subject. After watching Chip Kid's lecture on TED.com on the subject of the art of first impressions, I really started thinking a lot about the great role of the first impression. The same thing as with the people happens with other objects. The same happens in the world of design. Mr. Kidd gives different examples of successful and unsuccessful works in design and emphasizes two things every designer should remember of. They are clarity and mystery. It is even more important to find the balance between these two things. The speaker gives different examples of his works that became a real inspiration for me. He designed many book covers in the way that makes the idea of the book clear from the first view and still creates the mystery. My personal favorite is his design for David Rekov's Fraud. Uh, it is quite simple and still it looks really interesting, it really catches the eye. Mr. Kid got inspired to create this book cover by street graffiti and this crazy art decision had made this book cover really unique. My another favorite is his design of Haruki Murakami's book. At the first view you can see the hand with different colored fingers and it it makes you really curious what's happening in the book. But still, the clarity is that, it, that you can see the hand and the mystery is why is it colored like this? And only after reading the book you'll get the whole idea why it happens so. Chip Kit also tells about different bad examples of design where the useless mystery or the useless clarity spoils everything. The first really sad example is the beautifully designed can of Diet Coke, which has really nice colors and the slogan of uh, this product makes the buyers really embarrassed because you're on Coke. Another thing is the announcement on the subway station. The color combination and the order of the words made the message really unclear and difficult to be read. And Chip tried to remake it by adding some colors to put emphasizes uh, and just to make it clear, to put it in another order. All in all, I liked Mr. Kid's lecture a lot. He made me think about this subject really deeply and I hope I'll uh, have some successful works in the future. Thank you Chip! Clarity and mystery, that's all. And don't make Mr. Kid cry. Goodbye!